For a while now, I have described Nigeria to be just like a, a dying whale that urgently needs resuscitation. But unfortunately, while this whale struggles for life somehow, it, it finds itself unfortunately surrounded by those who don't care about bringing it back to life, but instead cutting up large chunks of this will for themselves. That's all they care about. You see people all around this dying will just steady digging into it to take as much as they can because to them, the survival of that an animal is not what's important. What's important is how much of an opportunity they have to cut their own pieces how hard they have to fight and sometimes even swallow their own vomit just to have some access to the meat of this dying whale constant access their whole lives 30 40 years they just want to have constant access to this whale they don't mind doing a complete 180 degrees turn on their political stance within just a few months just so they continue to have access to the meat of this whale they don't mind even spitting on every value they claim to have just again so that they can continue to have access to chop their own pieces of this whale. Now that's what we see in many of the people you find around Asorok today. Those who were once presidential candidates speaking loudly and bitterly against those in government suddenly making a complete U-turn to end up as special advisors to the same people they condemned from candidates to special advisor. Those who were once ministers will within seconds degrade themselves to become special advisors if they can. Those who were strong supporters of a totally different candidate a few months ago who condemned other candidates and called them failures in every language possible, suddenly making the same complete U-turn to serve the same people that they insulted. All of this is not because of the love for country but just to gain and maintain access to the meat of this dying whale. A crowd of people without one drop of integrity. And that's why you find people who should be special advisors or even media aides falling over themselves to insult and attack anybody who dares question uh, the person who appointed them into office and gave them another, another opportunity to dig into this whale because th that, that's what they are there for. And so when anybody, for example, a former president even speaks in a way that threatens their access to the meat of this dying will, they immediately draw their swords and attack. But again, the attack is not to defend this will and bring it back to life. It is instead to show complete die-hard, unshakable loyalty to the person who gave them access to continue to cut their own shares of this will and stay alive. Good morning, Nigerians.